it is that time. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to Mahala Monday. I'm laughing because I like the number 11. That's why I laugh. Ta -ta. Anyway, great to have you here, everybody. My name is Dougald. Welcome to Mahala Monday. As always, there she is, Rhoda. Good morning, everybody. Welcome, everybody, and good morning to you as well, Dougal. Hello. <laughs> I hope you had a lovely weekend. Yeah, yeah, now we all did. You know what, I'm, I'm just excited about uh, what we're going to be talking about today because uh, today in many ways, this is, this is the conversation that leads to the statement, the dream has come true. Oh yeah, so Isn't true, it? so true. And especially, I mean, this is a show I think uh, for men and women, but I think more ladies because you know what, one of our biggest prides in our house is our kitchen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we talk uh, innovation in, in a lot of ways. Yeah. And um, and let's start off here. Let's just give you a backdrop. Of course, uh, you all are no strangers to the program. And thank you very much for your support. You know this is interactive beyond levels. So uh, we look forward to your questions and comments and uh, the details there at the bottom of the screen. So uh, at NK Productions, you can uh, join us uh, with questions and comments on YouTube and Facebook. And we look forward to those. So what we're talking about is innovation, okay. renovation. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just Remake, redo. Mm. Um, Facelifts. Facelift. What That's else? That's a good one. <laughs> what like else? One. Um, yeah. There's a lot to explain, but yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm liking the, just the change. And I think it's actually quite good, especially after COVID now, having to come into the new world and just basically Reborn. changing. That's it. Perfect. That's Fresh. the word. Reborn, fresh. Yeah, fresh. <laughs> so there's a lot of adjectives, isn't it? A lot, a lot. Absolutely a, lot, a huge amount of adjectives. And uh, But let's break it down. So we're talking, as you always know, uh, with uh, people who do amazing things, organizations, businesses, companies to do outstanding things. And uh, that oh, is yeah. exactly the case today. And we'll be talking to a company called Amazing Kitchens. And joining us is Anthony Bota. And we'll get to Anthony in just a moment. But what is really extraordinary is... That's what they do. That's what they do. And and I can tell you now, it is amazing. Because one of the videos I do believe that we will be showing is basically one of the kitchens that they had done. And yeah. you know, just how amazing it actually turned out. Yeah. Now we all know a facelift, of course, is as good as a, a, a holiday, a change and all of that. But you need expert advice and you need somebody to guide it through. Before we get Anthony on, let me ask you this. Is this a dream? Because everybody at some point in their home renovate at some they, they reinvent exactly I, I think it is something across the board it's across the board Dougal I, I think just as humans we need to sometimes just make that change because you know you kind of can't be stagnant all the time and and for me fashion changes things are changing kitchen changes there's new tiles there's new um, appliances technology technology changes everything is so amazing so yeah. I do believe that you know what I think every few years it's time for the change. And it's great. And this is where you come in because uh, we look forward to your questions and comments. We're going to be talking uh, renovating kitchens and uh, all of that. Good stories. And uh, if you're definitely doing that as you were, you definitely got to join us. So joining us today from Amazing Kitchens is Anthony Boeta. And what is really special, I must say this before Anthony comes on, which is really great to have this guy sort of take you oh, by the yeah. hand. You kind of need that guidance. You need that help. <laughs> Anthony, good morning. And thank you so much for joining us on Mahala Monday. How's it going? It's going great, yeah. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to the show. Yeah, no, it's absolutely awesome to have you here with us uh, today. And uh, what Rhoda was just saying, and uh, we were just talking about um, the whole thing that uh, we, you, you, you reinvent, you reinvent, and uh, which is great. And what do you say with that, Rhoda? Oh, most definitely. And I think, Anthony, you are that guy. I mean, uh, I've had obviously experienced seeing you a few times having brilliant conversations obviously you you my buddy <laughs> and I trust you I truly trust you as soon as I can give you an idea I know for a fact that you'll be able to exactly give me what I want exactly yeah so what we're going to talk about it is uh, quite, quite a bit of things but Anthony once again thank you very much for joining us it is absolutely brilliant too to have you on there's so many questions that we have we want oh, to yeah. find out exactly what amazing kitchens is all about that is what we want to find out from you today 100 percent. well amazing kitchens is a little company that started a few years ago um seven years ago to be exact and we basically started off um, out of a retrenchment case and being an entrepreneur we just thought no we're gonna take this on um what the the story that actually started it was 
I basically been retrenched and in a space of 21 days, I had put out my CV, couldn't find any work. And then um, at that stage, I had a few people asking, what work would you, what you're going to do in the future? Mm. And I'd say to them, no, fine, I'm going to look at doing kitchens again because I had some background in kitchens and woodwork previously. So I think I'll go into that. But ultimately, I'd like to work for a boss, so I'm looking for work. Yeah. And with that, um, uh, two or oh, three weeks later, 21 days to be exact, I felt that the Lord had definitely led me in a space where I had no um, responses to any interviews at all or any uh, CVs that I'd sent out. And I had two full scat pages of leads with people saying, well, if you're going to go back into the woodwork, build this little cupboard, do this for me, do that. And yeah, then I felt, well, the Lord's closed the door with employment and he's opening a new door. Yeah. And yeah, so definitely looking, uh, look forward to that. And seven years later, we, yeah, uh, blessed by the Lord and definitely our work is just carrying on. And yeah, I think we're doing good work and that's what the people are um, happy about and that's where we've basically gone. Yeah, look, it, it is extraordinary. I mean, that is a great story, I must say. That is absolutely a, a thrilling story. And I mean, not only do you do kitchens, but I mean, you do, uh, and I want to call it a holistic service, but I mean, you will elaborate on that. Uh, I mean, you do other things than just this kitchen. We're talking renovations as well, right? Which is part of your services that you would offer. Uh, true. So what it basically happened is we saw we've got the team to renovate the kitchen, so my same group of workers, which would be tilers, electricians, plumbers, um, and carpenters could do that same work in a bathroom. And we'd go on and we'd renovate bathrooms. And then we'd started renovating bedrooms. And before we knew it, we could, we offered a full turnkey solution to our clients. Yeah. So now that that is brilliant. I really want to get stuck in on the on the, like <laughs> on on some of the kitchens, yeah. But uh, I just want to say hi to. There's a couple of people watching. Uh, Ronell Bridge is watching. How's it? Uh, Lloyd is watching. Uh, Brits is watching as well. Deline uh, Janse van der Esberg. Charles uh, Mavuza is watching, which is absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. And I'm sure lots of people got lots of questions because they want to know, like, you know, how do I, how do I go about it? Maybe even as an anniversary gift, not not for the partner or the wife or the husband. Just for the house. Oh, my word. <laughs> <laughs> so seven years in, you, 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 do, you do a whole array of services. Uh, and as, you, as you've just shared your story, I mean, you know, life throws you a curveball. You chose oh, yeah. to make lemonade, lemonade. really, and, and, and a sweet thing. The business has been growing. And uh, before we, 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 we get really stuck into it, let me, let me just ask you this. And it's, it's a bit of a side question in terms of business. Obviously, I mean, at the time, you're still a very young business because you, you're five years in or so and things are going really well. Then COVID comes. What kind, of, what kind of stress does that put on an entrepreneur, and especially when there's people within, you know, who's, who's reliant on your business, employees and such? No, definitely it was a, a, it was a huge stress factor. I must say um, we had a great, back, uh, uh, great backing and great service from... Uh, friends and family and then also we are part of a business group called BNR and oh, which is Business Networking International and the team that just stood around it and helped us through this was just wonderful um, working through it. It was difficult mm. because basically for three months we could not work at all. Yeah. Um, but in that time we just made sure that we were doing our side, getting the marketing out and we would we came up with a marketing campaign to keep your house germ-free and tips on how to clean your kitchen properly to make sure that this ugly virus that was harming mm. everyone would be killed and try to just eliminate it and give people the peace of mind that their homes are safe at the end of the day. Uh, oh, yeah. This is, this is exciting. And I know this is probably a question I asked you now that we would have touched uh, on uh, towards the end of our little chat. But I just wanted to get that out of the way because that 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 really echoes uh, what just some of the sentiments already, which we are going to share. Oh yeah, definitely. And then uh, I do believe that our, our producer told us he's a little video clip he wants to play for us. So just to show us exactly what your work looked like, because this is a showcase. We need to showcase what you how amazing you guys are. So you know what? 
let's have a look at the video and then see exactly some of the work you guys have done. I am amazed. <laughs> wow. I know why you call the amazing kitchens now. I'm if amazed. ever there was any doubt, I know. I know. Listen, there, there, there's wow. a couple of things I, I want to talk about. So let's let's get into this, Anthony. Firstly, if you are Excellent. livid wow. with your husband or your wife, you can't slam cupboards. No. <laughs> Well, I see, because I, I saw the one person in the video try to, you know, they, they give it a, 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 a good push. But these are sort of, this, this is basically where the industry yeah. is developed to in terms of the technology. With, there were things coming out of the counter. What, what was that thing coming out of the counter? So that's basically one of the latest um, extractor fans. So instead wow. of on the island where you've got a nice view and the whole idea of an island is to create this open space, Previously, you had ones hanging from the ceiling mm. and blocking your view. This one actually comes out of the counter. So it's out of the way most of the time. And it's a feature in your kitchen now, which comes up right behind your stove and extracts all the um, steam and wow. impurities in the air and basically takes that out. Now, Anthony, where would, where, is there an exhaust? Where would that go? Does that go out? Yeah, so this one is piped right out of the building. So underneath the kitchen cupboards, we've got a pipe running right through outside and it's got a vent on the outside. So nothing can come into it, but it just, when it's in um, working or when it's busy working, it extracts all the fumes out. Oh, sure. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. I love it. I love it. I thought it was just a knife block when it came up. <laughs> so the, the knife block is just behind uh, oh. was standing yeah, behind I... there um, and then you've got the extractor just coming up in front of uh, just listening to yeah. you obviously now Anthony um, my question is you know we as ladies always have this vision of and I think as a little girl you always have this vision as well of my kitchen one day so my kitchen back in the day was like a black and a white kitchen which was blocks like you know back that was like fashionable that time 80s exactly exactly don't give my age away to go and um, so for me, looking at that, I mean, I didn't even think of something like that. I mean, obviously, this is where you step in with exactly knowing what's happening in the market and then informing yourself what's happening to advise us as ladies to say, you know what, how about this? Am I correct? That's true. And um, so exactly that. We're the professionals at the end of the day. If you need a bookkeeper, you're going to go to a professional bookkeeper. You want someone to help you with your kitchen design, you come to the experts. 
and you find amazing kitchens and we come out and we help you. Oh, yeah, there's a, there's a whole host of comments that oh, we're going to go into and, and we've been seeing some pictures <laughs> of some of the other amazing kitchens. But now I want to ask you this quickly in terms of the technology and, and, and let's call it gadgets. I don't even know what to call it, uh, uh, appliances. How quickly does, does it change? Because it, it does appear that what I thought in my mind was like an outstanding kitchen compared to your the stuff that we've just seen. I'm like <laughs> way outdated here. Well, Doodle, don't worry. I'll I'll come and give you a quote on your house, and we'll sort it out. That your wife will be so happy with me and with you. <laughs> We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. That that's so, how. Uh, to answer your question, um, the technology is always getting better and better, but it is not of such a degree that every year there is something that your old stuff will be outdated. The lifespan of the kitchen should be between ten and fifteen years. And that's the time that you should be looking at upgrading your kitchen if you want to keep up uh, and have a modern kitchen all of the time. And, we, and we're seeing some amazing pictures, of course, that's being broadcasted about how it how it looks. But I want to ask you this: so when you come in and uh, t take take me through through the part, uh, how how does it work? So Rhoda and I, as husband and wife, she wants to change her white and black blocky kitchen that she has <laughs> to something breathtaking, as what you do. Uh, and then, you know, whatever, we've got whatever budget we have. We phone you, what do you do then? So I will come out, um, I'll come and measure up the property and have a sit down with you. And firstly, yeah, what your needs are at the end of the day. Um, what do you want to do with the space? What is your ideas? And then we will incorporate your ideas with the latest technology and with the, um, what's the latest trends as well yeah so i'll then sit down with you we'll discuss that then i'll go back to the office sit down with the, the 3d program that i use draw out your kitchen and then get a quote for you at the same time i'll then come and sit down with you again we'll go through the design look are you happy with it is there things that we must change and then at that stage you've also got a budget price in mind what is this type of kitchen going to cost you yeah. Then you can take me, no, okay, Anthony, you are um, more reasonable than what I thought. We can spend a little bit more. We can put better tops in. We can put better apply, um, hardware in. Or we can say, you know what, I need to save a little bit more and let's change these things to make it a little bit more cost effective. Sure. And then from there, we go into um, paying a deposit and then we basically start off with a process where we'll order the material we're at our factory, we try and build all the units or as many of them as possible. There is some units we can't build at the factory just purely to get them into the house itself. Yeah. But we'll build everything off site, then bring it to your property and install it. So the whole idea is to give you as little disruption in your house. Um, so you can carry on living at the end of the day. When we do come in, it's a quick breaking out doing any plumbing and electrical changes that must be done, and then we can install your new kitchen. Because there's a couple of things I want to ask you on that, but we also want to touch base because there's a loads of comments and questions coming through, and thank you very much for that. And keep sending it, yeah, because Anthony Bota is with us. Uh, he's a real expert, yeah, on, on, on... This is like stuff that will probably be happening in 20... 75 and that's what they already doing here yeah. because i want to ask you like what i've got like a, 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 a stove or something that my oma left me i don't want to have a change so i want to ask you about appliances and and all of that um how does that I I incorporate but we've got a couple of uh, uh, comments rhoda that's yeah. right yeah that's right um yeah just on your side they do go i think oh all right sorry let me just let me just go see. through so leandri uh Behrens has said uh and says uh hi Hi, hi, Anthony, and I, and I must just say, you, you, he's truly, truly amazing at what he does. So much heart, so much effort, and that comes through because you can honestly see the passion within the, in, 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 in uh, the, the, the kitchens that are there. Jacques Lewis says, I've known Anthony for the past three and a half years through BNI, and they were really, really passionate about what they do, so keep it up, amazing kitchens. Also, Ansi uh, Schutter Espach says, wow, guys, fantastic work. It really mind blows. Then we've got more messages 
Tunisia, Deline Jansa van Rensburg, who says, excellent kitchens, of course. I, I have seen uh, from Anthony and uh, his, his, his mean team, not only proud of his work, <laughs> but looking at the, the wealth and safety after supplying them with safety issues for the whole company, which is brilliant. Ronald Bert says, uh, stunning work, guys. It looks amazing. Danny Herb says, uh, well done, Anthony and the team. I have I've done work with this team on several occasions, and wow. And then we've got messages in from Nazir, who says, I love his and hers bathroom setup. It looks amazing. Well done. Great innovation. That is from Lloyd. Uh, Grace Moyo says, that's absolutely brilliant. Charles says, this is a brilliant, amazing kitchen. <laughs> wow, Billy <laughs> Smith, I want to do two more, says, having the luxury of having Anthony and his team live close by and have done several projects on my property, great teamwork. Will highly recommend amazing kitchens and let's do one more quickly belinda uh, lucas says so proud of the wonderful work beautiful kitchens bathrooms bedrooms uh, that you've put together which looks amazing so, so true. just look wow, judging wow, on wow, these wow, are wow. some i haven't gone through all of them and thank you this so much everybody them. thank you so much uh, uh, for for all those shout outs here we've got more coming which we're going to uh, touch base on youtube as well so anthony let me just get to my question quickly so i've got my almost fridge <laughs> and stove it's been in the family for years. It's going to last another million years. She wants new appliances. Can you facilitate getting a new appliance? Definitely we can. So, Dougal, I'm going to, I'm going to throw a spin into the works here and just help you out. That awesome entertainment area that you wanted um, for your bras, we'll move Omar's kitchen in over there, or mm -hmm. her fridge and stove ah. for you. We'll do that over, over there. And for Rhoda, we will... Give her the state-of-the-art kitchen she deserves. Oh, yeah. Oh, ah, yeah. I like that. Compromise. Ah. Hmm. All right. And then, of course, uh, and, 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 and that makes sense, sorry, if, because if, you, if you've got grand-looking kitchen, I mean, the mm. line is, you know, it's, it's down to your own taste, I suppose, what oh, you yeah. would want to go for. But it makes sense that, you know, your, your things work, work, work hand in hand, which is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I'm, I'm just blown away about how I really, I knew it was going to be good, but I didn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you see like, when you just see an amazing picture, you're like, wow, exceed expectations. Expectations, definitely. Yeah. And, and then obviously on that, um, Anthony, uh, this is always for me, um, you know, the question, when I'm having to decide to do my kitchen or it, even doing renovations, obviously, I need to look at what would I like. And then obviously I could start looking at pricing at that stage so that I could work out a budget. Because I think one of the frustrations, which I probably find with you as well, is like a lot of people want bells and whistles, but they don't understand how much it costs. And this obviously is something you sit with them and work out the budget, having to look at it. And for me, with building as well, you start doing a job or start working on it and you realize, but I need this extra, I need that extra. Yeah. And this for me is sometimes quite bad planning. And this is where you come in. You'll sit and you'll work everything to the T with me, telling me exactly, but Rhoda, that's in actual fact the price. This is how much it's going to cost. By the time I'm done, we're not going to sit with an extra budget of things that obviously was just sucked out of air. Am I correct? 100%. So I think what a lot of people do wrong is they'll, they'll get a contractor in to give them a quote, and then they'll firstly say, no, I can do it cheaper. Mm -hmm. And they start and they don't realize all the hidden costs oh, because yeah. you can look at it and say, fine, it's going to cost X amount, but there's a lot of hidden costs that do come up. And that's where we pride ourselves in is we try and eliminate that mm -hmm. and give you a holistic price for everything that gets covered at the end of the day. Yeah. So you know exactly what it's going to cost. And even if it means you must wait a month later for your kitchen, mm -hmm. um, that you can save up a bit, but using a professional is definitely um, a huge benefit to you at the end of the day. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Without revealing too much details, of course, in terms of, uh, you know, an amenity and uh, respect and all of that. Some of the kitchens you've worked with, they're all amazing, I must just say. And we've been seeing photos uh, run throughout the show so far and amazing images. But, I mean, surely there's got to be one or two that stands out. Definitely. Um, I think there's three in my career so far that I'm really, really proud of. One of the latest ones was Grace's Kitchen. Uh, Grace, who commented now, uh, we've mm -hmm. built an awesome, awesome kitchen for her. That's where the extractor comes out of the uh, uh, counter. Yeah. And then one of our other ones was a place we did in Fienaging, which um, over there, we also had a carte blanche to help the client pick very nice finishes. And that one, yeah, that one stands out. So 
there's a there's quite a few that I can tell you about, and yeah, if we see the photos, I can explain mm. on the different ones. Yeah, now, look, they, 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 they're all extraordinary from, from what I'm seeing there. I'm just thinking it's going to be like you say, like there's some, <laughs> you have, you have some uh, memories there, but uh, yeah, it will be hard to just, just, just pick on all yeah. of them. We've got uh, a couple of uh, comments on, on, on YouTube, YouTube as well, Rhoda. Yeah, that's right. I'm not sure we're going to be displaying some there quickly. Yeah, so those, those will come up there now as well. And from what I can see is we've got uh, comments there from Hubert. Hubert. Hubert who has said, and th those will, will come through there as well. And uh, there, Here we go. U Hubert says, uh, happiness is a small house with, with a big kitchen because kitchens are made to bring uh, families together, which is uh, so really, true. really what it is, is about. And that, <laughs> <laughs> that, that is it. So you got to have a happy kitchen, eh? Uh, he says, innovation comes from people who take joy and pride in their work, and Anthony and the team embodies the service, saying, a live life uh, lived. A life lived in the service of others is worth living. living. Yeah, sorry. So true. And that, uh, wow. That nails it, really. That really nails it. Yeah. Yeah. Just a quick one, Anthony. I'm, uh, yeah, me probably chat thinking again kitchen. Um, and obviously, I know you do a lot of other innovations as well. Just one of the things that obviously we had a discussion prior to the show as well. The fact that the, you don't, like when you do my kitchen now, it's not that I'm going to be without a kitchen for a long time. You, and most of the work doesn't necessarily happen on site. Am I correct? Yes, that's true. So what we try and do is behind the scenes, we will first, before we even come and do any demolishing work, we will build the whole kitchen and have it ready at the factory. So when we do come in, it's as little disruption to you at the, at the end of the day. So we come in, we'll break out and remove your kitchen only when your new kitchen is ready to be installed. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. No, that, that, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Yeah. yeah, sure. No, no, that is exciting times. I, I, I tell you what. So, uh, so how, so when Rona was asking uh, how long it would take, I mean, obviously that is in terms of the, the size of, of, uh, of, of just the mm -hmm. kitchen. But what the one thing that is super important, we mustn't forget, I mean, you, you do bathrooms. Your bathrooms oh, yeah. are state of the art. You, wow. you do amazing. Uh, we, one of the comments that we got in uh, from one of the, the viewers said the whole his and her setup, which is just oh, yeah. extraordinary. And then, then uh, of course, uh, the bedrooms as well. So we, we are talking whole, holistic renovations here. Yes, definitely. So we can come in from a leaking roof. We can take your house from top to bottom. We can fix your roof if it's leaking, paint it. Um, if we need to change anything on your roof, we can do that. Working down, we can replace ceilings. We can put decorative cornices on. You can have different bulkheads. Then moving a little bit further down, we can paint wow. out the house, um, do any renovations, breaking through and fixing walls, things like that. Moving even lower, um, we can redo cupboards. Mm. And that's where we can go from sliding door cupboards mm. to conventional doors and then to your floors. We've wow. got a full team that can do from carpets through to laminate floors, tiling. So we offer a full, full service that when we come in, we can help you guys and give you a full, full service. Uh, all right. No, and, and that is absolutely brilliant because that is that that is uh, the thing, you know. And what mm -hmm. when, you know what when we, when we touched base on some of the the, the the comments earlier. It is it is purely the, the amount of compliments that that is coming away, which is uh, just absolutely brilliant. We're going to touch base on some of them as well uh, as we wrap up. There's so many positive uh, comments, comments that we have there, which lot. is which is just fantastic. <laughs> and I just want to say hi to to Vainan. Mabel, who's also saying amazing kitchens, absolutely the best. And I want to quickly get to this uh, comment from Grace Moyo, who says, uh, I enjoyed working with Anthony and I'm still enjoying my brand new house. He renovated bathroom, kitchens, lounge, dining room. Best wow. guy for outstanding and stunning renovations. He's passionate uh, about what he does and incorporating his ideas as the best decision uh, one can have ever made, which is... Uh, which is absolutely brilliant, and there is a whole, whole, <laughs> a whole, whole, whole couple of um, 
uh, post there as well. I just quickly want to get to this one because this is basically my, my next question, which was uh, from Parliament Post who says, uh, being in the process of wanting to sell my house, I've heard that, uh, that kitchens and bathrooms are the most ideal uh, guideline to determine the value of the home. So it would be a great investment considering amazing kitchens to uplift my home's value. Buy your slim. Yes. Buy your slim. Let me just say that. That is exactly what you got to do. That's why we're doing the show, man. That's why we're doing the show. There we go. That is that is exactly why why we're doing it. And if if people are in that position, of course, and let's call it a facelift, Anthony, for the yeah. lack of a better uh, though, we, we see this from ongoing uh, home renovation channels and all of that. That 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 is the, the the kitchen is a real focal point and a real selling. If if you were uh, recon, if awesome. you were in the market for home or reselling or anything like that. Yeah. Definitely, that's the first thing, especially the ladies look at. Uh, a lot of the men will focus on that as well now, but your ladies want to definitely see a beautiful kitchen and that's what sells the house. Your second thing is your bathrooms. So if you can tick those two things off on your list when you're wanting to sell your property, you definitely increase the value. And getting a specialist in like ourselves to come and help you do those things over you can definitely add value to your property and get a better selling price for it at the end of the day and, and yeah, if somebody is doing that i just want to uh, touch base on another question we got from permanent permanent post who is like, I mean, obviously you would go out. Now, as we know, you, you are based in Gauteng, but depending on where you need to be with the quote, something can be arranged. Even if somebody says, listen, you need to come to Alaska, <laughs> it's something you would, would consider, obviously. Definitely. So we've worked right across the country. We've done work in Cape Town, work in Zierest. Um, there's some little towns that we've done work in that a lot of people won't even know if we mention them. So, yes, definitely we are able to travel and look after our clients at the end of the day. Brilliant. That's exactly what Do I want you know to what? It is, it, is, it is heartwarming. It is inspiring to hear a business owner and say all these things. Oh, yeah. Having the amount of passion because this this is not business, man. This is artistry. It's this artistry, is, exactly. This is, you know, this is, this is you've got to tilt your hat. I mean, it really, really is outstanding. Some of the stuff you guys are doing is and, just, yo. And Anthony, just looking at all the comments, I mean, there's loads of comments here. And you know what, if we have to read everything, I think it's going to take up most of our show right now. And to me, this speaks, it yeah, speaks for me, volumes, volumes, because it exactly tells us that, you know what, you're doing this from the heart. You're proud of what you're doing and it's a passion that's coming through because all your people that's commenting here, a lot of your clients that's commenting here, people that know you quite well, your Ben, I'm members as well. So you know what, it speaks volumes of you as a business owner. Well done. Um, I'm very, very proud of you. Actually, I must tell you this. Anthony is the guy who told me about a Wi-Fi switch. You switch on your lights <laughs> in your kitchen or wherever when you're not even at home, is it? Do you remember that? Yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, if you, with, with this one of these kitchens that we've done now that's on display, um, they're full kitchens operated on the Wi Fi switches. Wow. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, things things have changed. I mean, look at that light there. Look at, look at, I mean, yo, uh, it is absolutely outstanding. It is brilliant. Do you know who I feel sorry for? And I'm, I don't know, I'm actually not ashamed to say this. I'm, I'm known for controversy, is your competition. I really feel sorry for them. It is really, really not good. Yeah, this is, this is bad. But, Anthony, how do people get in touch with you? Because uh, oh, yeah. they definitely want to do that. Okay, well, we've got our web page firstly, which is um, www.amazingkitchens.coza. And then they can find us on Facebook, which is also Amazing Kitchens. Um, and then my cell phone number directly. Um, that's something that I'm very happy to give out. It's 082-920-4523. Um, I would like the people to contact me directly. A lot of mm. businesses want to hide the CEOs or the owners away. Mm. And especially when there's problems, he doesn't answer his phone. We don't do that. We try and handle anything uh, that comes our way. Um, yeah, we're also not perfect. We've dropped the ball here and there. But I think it's how you handle your problems at the end of the day that we make sure that we keep our clients happy at the end of the day. Yeah, Definitely. and of course, all those contact details uh, we will find on your website as well, which is www.amazingkitchens.co.za. Yes, that's it. Perfect. Well, you know what? Wow. I'm 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 all question. I'm <laughs> I'm 
Or all we can say is keep doing what you do. Uh, it is extraordinary work that uh, that uh, that you do, of course. And then just judging, like Rona said, judging by the comments, it is really inspiring and it's refreshing. Oh, yeah. And it is, it is, it is always fantastic to celebrate what is us, you know. And uh, just to see amazing South African companies doing outstanding things, uh, exactly. which is always refreshing. And, and it's good to celebrate that. And that is exactly what it is. And I can just imagine those people that that have been clients, the amount of joy. Because judging of some of the comments, I mean, that speaks volumes. That speaks volumes. <laughs> Definitely. Anthony, any final thoughts from you before we wrap it up? Well, I, I think just being also on an entrepreneur um, site, I want to just encourage the guys that if you've got a little business that you're nurturing, go out and just carry on. Live your passion. Definitely go out and really put your heart into it. And then just from a business side of it, Surround yourself with the right people that's going to help you. Find the mentors. Um, I've got a few brilliant mentors that's helped me walk my way in the business life and helped me out quite a bit. So definitely find those mentors. Um, and let them help you along the way. When you're starting off your business, put the right people in places. If you're a um, kitchen specialist, you concentrate on the kitchens and let the other guys handle the accounts, let them handle the bookkeeping, etc. Mm. Um, HR. But you focus on what you're good at. So for those entrepreneurs out there, definitely hand over what you can't do and definitely, definitely surround yourself with the rest of uh, with good people on your team. Oh, uh, I love it. Outstanding. Anthony Boita of Amazing Kitchens, thank you so oh, much yeah. for your time. Thanks for coming on to Mahala Monday. We wish you all the success and long may you just thrill homes uh, everywhere on the planet. And of course, uh, keep inspiring people with amazing kitchens and giving them what uh, even their dreams can't, to be quite honest. So uh, keep doing what you do, sir. And thanks for your time. Thank you very much, guys. And thanks for all the viewers as well. Uh, awesome. Thanks, Anthony. Awesome. Thanks, Anthony. Good day. That, that is Anthony Bota from Amazing Kitchens. Let me let me just be honest with you. We've we've had lots of people on oh, yeah. on on this program, and uh, it is amazing because the proof is in the pudding here. The proof is in the pudding, Google. Just watching from those comments, and I want to think. Do you know what? We barely got to ten percent of the comments, and I want to be very clear. And because of the interest of time, we couldn't get to everybody. But I want to acknowledge everybody for taking the time out because this is super important but important and 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 just acknowledging the amazing service and and, and work that you have received from oh, yeah. this wonderful company so thank you very much for that uh, it is truly outstanding but but that speaks volumes it speaks volumes Dougal. and if you look at the quality of work i'm i'm amazed I, just looking at everything i want to have my kitchen done yeah I'm i sorry. knew, I, I I knew you were going to say done. that <laughs> i'm going to have a word with your other yeah i knew you were going to say that and nobody can blame you because when you see those wow. things it's a, it's, a, it's it's birth it's rebirth it's, it's reinvention it, it is just it, it just looks outstanding exactly. technology is changing flavors yes. tastes are changing and I this is it. it and and let's be honest though one of the things that he said you know what i come out tell me what you want I give you something, I go design something. Exactly. So none of it needs to be where you spend a fortune, fortune. You do yeah. to what your taste is. Exactly. Yeah. And, and they said it, you can incorporate some of your old appliances, we can get new. It is all depending on what you do. But the thing is, going through this, you actually want somebody who's very good at that. Exactly. Because I can just imagine me and you are going to argue because you have <laughs> black and white kitchens. So true. And I want new on purple. That's what uh, I want. So in actual fact, the counselors as well. <laughs> yeah, this is actually brilliant. <laughs> so the easiest thing for you to do is to go check out their website, of course. Uh, on there you will see a plethora of photos and pictures and images of exactly what they've done and all their contact details are there. And it's at the bottom of your screen. So www.amazingkitchens.coza. That is where you go and all their contact details are there. And it is a true celebration because it is really brilliant when... Um, when we, we see companies do amazing things amazing like things. that. Amazing things. So true, so true. Yeah. So, Rona, that wraps it up from us for today. That wraps it up, Dougal. Yeah, it was a fabulous show, and it inspired me to look at the amazing kitchens and actually look at my house and kind of...
do some changes as well. <laughs> I am designing a kitchen. I'm going to apply for a job. And you can't see that. My goodness, you can't even see it. It's that bad. So, uh, yeah, that is what it is. I'm just going to design kitchens. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for contributing with all your amazing questions and comments. And thank you to Anthony Buerta from Amazing Kitchens for joining us here on Mahala Monday. We look forward to our next episode as well. But don't forget to go check them out, www.amazingkitchens.co.za. From Rhoda and myself, until next time, everybody look after yourselves. Cheers. Thank you. Bye.